We all love music, it goes without saying. If you didn't love music, you wouldn't be watching these videos. But honestly, there is a problem. Not a week goes by that I don't hear someone slamming the current music scene, and more specifically, the mainstream music scene, and going on and on and on about how tepid and mediocre the music is. It's not that I disagree with that sentence, but, well, how to say this? It's sort of our collective fault that mainstream music has dropped to this point in overall quality. If you go back even two decades, the overall standard of quality in terms of both lyrics and music seems to be a lot higher. But when you step back and look at it, we as consumers are just as, if not more responsible for that shift than the music industry. I mean, think about it. This isn't a tough concept. We all know that the music industry is a fat beast that constantly needs to be fed a brand new supply of money every single day. So all the industry really does in essence is react to the buying public and whatever they demand. When disco was big, they put out as many disco styled artists as possible. When it was hair metal, the same thing happened. When it was psychedelic, when it was gangster rap, whatever, you get the point. For whatever reason, over the past decade or so though, we've allowed the industry to put in less effort than normal, buying massive amounts of the comparatively mediocre music that they're putting out there for us. I mean, let's just look at one really easy reference point, the completely irrelevant but notable Grammy Awards. Look at the records that have been nominated for Album of the Year over the past few years. Do you honestly believe that these records are going to be able to hold up over the decades like other winners such as Stevie Wonder, Eminem, Michael Jackson, or even Bands I don't really like, like Radiohead. When you put them side by side, the distance and overall quality between them isn't even funny. And the last few years have been filled with bands and artists that honestly are going to be forgotten before this decade is even over, let alone bands that hope to tour for decades to come drawing decent crowds anywhere. So what's the fix, you're asking? Well, actually, it's pretty simple. Demand better. When you go to a restaurant that serves substandard food, you don't eat there anymore. So why do you continue to support these bands and artists that aren't as good as you know you could be getting? With so much access to so many bands all across the globe, why would you spend your money on anybody but the best of the best? Because the reality is, when this trend starts on a larger scale, the industry will have no choice but to start supporting artists to the caliber that they pushed current pop stars. That's where the money will be. The industry follows money. So point the trail of dollars away from these bands that fiend sincerity and emotion. Drop those dollars in a clear path to artists who truly love what they're doing in music. And you know that they themselves will never settle for anything less than their absolute best. Because if those artists won't compromise for anything less than the best, you shouldn't either. <laughs>